Hello viewers. Today we are going to discuss the desk reservation system for multiple days. Many of you know initially I created a desk reservation system for a single day and I received a great response from everyone. We can book or reserve the desk for a single day using the current app. For example, you plan to go to office for a whole week, you need to book the desk for five times. This approach will be time consuming for users and unnecessary entry into the database. So I received a few requests for this app to work on multiple dates. Instead of booking one single at a time, book for various or multiple dates in a single entry. For this, I created a separate app to demonstrate this. Let's deep dive into this. First, we will see the setup. Uh, we are going to discuss the two setups. One is a set point and another one is power apps. Okay, let's click on a set point. And this one, uh, office info, which is now you can see it over the location name, which is the desk number, which is the coordination and then location details. So for example, for one desk you may have one monitor or a two monitors like that. So this is not in it, there is no change on this one compared to the single day one and then if you look at it this shared point list is for a single day one right so this is for employee office which is which desk and then a single day and then for a multiple days uh, one small change is same thing now you're going to have a employee as a lookup and uh, now you have a desk and then from and a two date Okay, that's a, only the small change instead of the book date you have a from and to date and when it comes to power apps that run and to see here so on the other app you have a only one date you know, called book date and then i a little bit changed on the not legend right the selected color the current user available and the not available a little bit changed um, other than pretty much same layout you now you can whenever you select a specific desk you're going to see that that specific desk informations and then you no, know, when you select something say for example when you say select four and then you see it vsr2 which is you now i just specifically mentioned north and then south okay so sr2 is for a current user this user is already booked for this desk sr2 for specifically for uh, you know 44 four. take a look at it here and then to see here 44 to 48 right so april 4 to april 8 uh, the the current user styling is booked for this desk so it should reflect for any days even if you say five or six until eight okay so that needs to reflect it and you select some other date for example that and then yeah so all the greens are available dates so let's discuss the legend right so one is the selected one so this is just to know them what you selected here same thing you're going to you know information and then second one is you no know, the current user which I mentioned here so for example when I select five so there's a current user it's already booked so in that case I can if you see the icon because the user already booked for this specific date range so now the icon will be you know, change and stuff book and then all the greens ones are green and then the red ones are not available which I meant for other users booked for example for the previous month just okay previous month if you take a look at it this one other users booked so when you select this one and then obviously there is no change there is no cancel button because other users booked and then you see that who is booked this is the kind of optional one sometimes you no know, the company policy may block it to whom you know booked for the specific desk it's up to you just I'm showing that that's to display it's possible let's run the application how that it works so today it's 4 4 I'm going to change some date for future so I'm going to book it for 412 to 413. Okay. And then you can be able to see it. These are the selected one. I'm just selecting. 
So I'm going to work it for something in R5. So this desk has a one monitor and one mouse. If you see it now, this it's available and then other user are selected the desk. So you can be able to see it. You can just click on a book. Okay, now it shows who book the current user, obviously, because this is selected in R5 is selected and then now change to cancel. Okay. Let's check the SharePoint one. Click on other icon. Okay, so it shows. So what is that here? The user and then the desk, which you see it here in R5, which goes to the specific list and frame and the two data for 12 to 413. Right, so that's what we, we have booked here. Okay, let's now to see that you no know, small component. No, that's is it not exactly it's uh, the code it to be done for a single date and multiple date. Um, so let's have a, some small changes. Okay, now let's check the a coding. Okay, so what are the areas specifically the coding is impacted? So just to and check so here i'm selecting the date frame and to date so for the date frame or to date on change event is some changes so what i'm saying here here is um i'm just collecting from that date to date right so i'm just collecting uh, if anything is booked on the specific date um no then just i'm putting the collection so that i can you know read through that one uh, for any color or something, I can do that one. And then icon, right? So then another one is icon, say to change the color, right? So if this is selected, then it goes to the blue color, right? So that's a blue color one. And then, then I'm saying that if anything is booked for this date, just I'm just setting as a variable, this item is just a variable, then I'm verifying, okay, so for this specific desk, Either this current user is booked so that I can see that the no the black one which is nothing but I can see this one okay that's the second one the third one is I'm saying that if any other user is booked for this desk for this desk is booked by any other user so this is for a current user so that you can see that the black color with a border and then this one is to verify if any other user is booked right so we so we know the other users should not book it, we need to block it. So that goes to the, the black color one. Uh, oh, sorry, if, if any other user is booked, then it's a you know, red color one, it's a not available one. Finally, it's a green color, which is available one. Okay, and then um, for the small change, I made it some, you know, border thickness also, just I'm saying that if it's a current user, you know, uh, booked, then make them into one like this in a small thing, right? So for example here, and I'm running here, uh, 12, 13, uh, this one, if you see that the square one, right? So that's a color, the thickness one, water thickness, I came through here. Then, um, then come to the change icon, right? So change icon, go bottom. The main thing is on select. So here, what I'm one thing I'm making sure one more thing here is just before uh, save the book the desk, I'm verifying that desk is still it's available. So if you see here is for that specific desk, I'm checking from and to date. Not as applicable for a single also, right? Because the user might select something and then you know it takes some more few seconds delay when you are reviewing the other information. And meanwhile, the other my other user might book that same desk. So I'm verifying here just before book it to make sure this still it's available. If it's still it's available, then I'm booking that information. I'm booking that specific to that for the specific, specific user from a to date for that specific desk for that specific employee or the user. If it is not available, then I'm displaying the message saying that hey, this that selected desk is not available at this time. Uh, no, I meant it. No, the user may cancel later on, so it may be available in the later period. Okay. 
Okay, so another property is just the label one. So we'll go for the text one. So we are selecting, say I'm verifying for the current user for the current data is, is booked. If it is booked, then we need to change to change because that specific time frame the current user is already booked it. If not, right? So otherwise the user can book it for some other dates. That's another property. And then finally, it's a cancel one, simple. So you no, know, we are verifying for the current employee for that date. I'm just checking, and then we are just removing for the specific item, specific ID, okay, for the selected date. Okay. I'll be adding the old Power App and the SharePoint schema details to the repo. Please see the description for the URL. Thank you. Have a good day.